Question five. So get our highlighter out. Here are four digits. We've got an eight, a two, a four, and a three. Use two. We only want two of these digits to make the smallest possible two-digit number. Okay, so we want to make a two-digit number that's as small as we can. This column's the tens, this column's the ones. So we want the smallest ten we can possibly make, obviously, to make this as small as possible. And that would be using the two. Now I've used the two, I want to make the smallest ones, and I'll choose three, which is the next smallest number left. So 23, using the digits 2 and 3, gets us the smallest two-digit number. Next, use three of the digits, so let's get our highlighter out, use three of the digits to make the three-digit number closest to 300. So, we've got an option here. I want a three-digit number. Again, remember, this is the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column. Now, we want to be close to 300. So if we look at our possible options up here, um, our, our most obvious choice is probably to use the 3, but 2 is close as well, so I'm going to try that. So in one case, I'm going to use the 3, and in another experiment I'm going to do over here, the 100s, the 10s, and the 1s, I'm going to try a 2 in the 100s column and see if that makes any difference. So if I going back to this one, if I've chosen the 3, I want to be as close as I can to 300, so I need the next smallest number, which would be 2, and having chosen that, the next smallest number, which would be 4, 324. If I went the other option, and I actually took the 2, I want to be as close as I can to 300, so I need a big 10. So I choose 8 next, and the biggest one I can get left over, and 4 is left over. Now this is 24 away from 300, it's 24 bigger than 300, this is 16 less than 300, so this one's actually closer, it's 16 away. So the answer here would be equal to 284. Okay, next part. Now it's important we read the question carefully. Here are four different digits. We've got a 5, a 1, a 7 and a 9. Put one digit in each box to make the largest possible total. You may only use each digit once. So, what you would like to do is you want uh, the largest total, so you want the largest number of tens. This column, remember, is the tens column, this is the ones column. This is the tens column, this is the ones column. So you want the two biggest tens you can get, i.e. the two biggest digits. So you'd want a nine and a seven. So put the nine there, let's say, and the seven there. So that gives us the biggest tens we can possibly get. Now therefore, our ones are determined. They're the five and the one. Now it doesn't matter if you put the one here and the five here, or vice versa, because it will still add up to the same. So you could put the five here and the one there, or we could have put the, the one there and the five there, they add up to the same number of ones anyway, which is six ones, and you end up with 16 tens, which is um, 160. So the total here, 91 at 75, actually turns out to be 166. And that is your answer.